Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get Roblox shaders on Roblox so your game will look like this to this. Roblox recently updated their anti-cheat system, but it accidentally blocked Roblox shaders. So I'll show you guys how to get them back in this video today. But let's just get this out of the way right away. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you won't be able to use these shaders. I'm not sure if you need an RTX or a GTX. I know it works on RTX, but I'm not sure about GTX yet. So go ahead and leave a comment down below if you know. But yeah, you need a Nvidia graphics card, not an Intel. So if you have an Intel, I'm sorry, get the better one. All right. So now with that out of the way, there's going to be three links in the description below. They're all GitHub links and they're all safe. I've tried them all out myself. I've tested them and I haven't gotten a virus yet. So let's just hop right into the video. First, we're going to have this GitHub link right here. So to download it, it's pretty simple. You want to scroll down until you see the options for assets right here. And you want to look for Nvidia profile inspector dot zip. Go ahead and click on it and it should download right here. Once it's downloaded, you want to go ahead and drag it onto your desktop right here and once you do that you're going to want to go ahead and right click on it and then you want to scroll down and choose the option for extract all once you do that you can just click extract it'll open this up right here once you're on this page go ahead and click on nvidia profile inspector and that'll open this right here now in this you're going to want to scroll down all the way to other so right here once you're in other you're going to want to go ahead and look for angel flags for enabled applications once you find that It'll probably be disallowed since that's what it is normally on. So you want to click, go ahead and click on it right here. And you want to go ahead and click on allowed. Once you do that, you can click apply changes in the top right corner of the screen and you're good to go. You can go ahead and close out of that. You can close out of that. You can delete it if you want to. Now, after you do that, we're going to move on to the second GitHub link, which is right here. And once you're on this page to download it, you can look for the code option in the top right corner of the screen, this green button right here. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. It'll show these options right here. Ignore all of it except for this download zip link right here once you find it just click on it and it will start downloading right there now you do the same thing as last time you go ahead and drag it onto your desktop right click on it and then you want to extract all once you do that you can just click extract and it's going to open this up right here to make it easier let's delete this real quick to make it easier if you click on it as you can see there's going to be two files so you can just drag this one out and then you can go ahead and delete this file right here and then that'll make it easier to access but once you're in here there's going to be a shaders file right here and has all these commands or whatever so we don't have to do anything with it just yet we have to go to the third link but that is the second step done now onto the third github link right here we're going to do the same thing as last time click on the code button right here go ahead and click download zip and it's going to go right here and you're going to want to go ahead and drag that out once again go ahead and extract all it's going to extract it to your desktop so go ahead and do that and then you can drag this one out once again to make it easier to access and delete this empty file once you have both of these downloaded you can go ahead and open both of them so what you want to do in the shaders and the one that you just downloaded reshade shaders nvidia there should be a file called shaders and textures go ahead and open that and it'll show all these options right here you want to click Control a and that will select all of the folders in here all the files in here once you do that you want to click Control c which will copy all the folders and once you do that you want to go over to the quint master file and go ahead and click on shaders and in here you want to click Control v once you do that it'll ask this destination already has a file named quintcommon.fxh just go ahead and click replace the file in the destination and that will automatically paste everything in here now you have all the files that you need so once you've done that what you want to do next i'll paste it in the description below but you want to search this in in your search bar in the bottom left c colon backslash program files backslash nvidia corporation once you search for that there should be a file folder by that name so go ahead and open it once you open it it'll be bring you to this page right here and you're going to want to go ahead and look for Ansel. As you can see, I have Ansel right here. But if you don't have it, that just means you've never used shaders on your computer. So you're just going to want to go ahead and create a new folder. The Ansel one for me is empty, so I'll go ahead and delete it and just show you guys exactly how to create it. So you want to right click anywhere on the folder page and then you want to go ahead and look for new. Once you go find new, if you go to the right of it, there should be an option for folder and go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it'll ask you to name it. So name it Ansel A and sel once you do that you can click off of it and now you will have the ansel folder now once you do that you want to go over to the quint master folder and the reason why we combined both of it was to make it easier to just paste it all in at once so just go ahead and click Control a and Control c once again and head back over to the nvidia corporation folder and you want to go ahead and click on ansel you want to click Control v once you do that you can just click continue right here and it will start to paste all of the items in here you can just go ahead and click do this for all current items and it should just paste all of them in 
all at once. Now once you do that, you will have your Anzel folder completed. Okay, so now you can close out of both of these folders right here because you are done with that step. That is the hardest part and you got through it. So pat yourself on the back. Okay, so you want to go to the search bar in the bottom left corner of the screen, search for Roblox. Once you search for Roblox, you're gonna want to go ahead and right click on it and open file location. So once you do that, it's gonna open this page right here, but you don't want to click on Roblox. You want to right click on it again and then open the file location again. Okay, now once you're here, I don't know why, but you want to rename Roblox player beta as Euro Trucks 2. E-U-R-O-T-R-C-K-S-2. Do I know why? No. Now you can just go ahead and click off of it and you will have that correct. Okay, so now you're completely done and you can go ahead and open Roblox, but you want you have to open it through the Euro Trucks 2 folder. So go ahead and double click on it and that will open Roblox. To use the shaders, you have to open it through this. So go ahead and log in if you have to and you're on Roblox. So you're just going to want to go ahead and join a game. You can create a private server if you want to make it easier, but just join some random game. I'll join Metro Life City Roleplay. Okay, so once you're on the game, you're going to want to go ahead and click Alt F3. Once you click that, this game filter should show up on the side. So if it didn't show up, just wait a bit. I'll tell you guys what to do. But if it did show up, you're going to want to go ahead and click on one out of these four options right here. You can just add whatever filters you want. You can add like bloom, you can add brightness and contrast, and then you can go ahead and like edit them however you you want like this as you can see so it's pretty simple and you can go ahead and add everything that you want to you know mess around with it and find out what works best for you and what looks the best for you so yeah just go through and just find which ones you like and which ones you don't like there's probably a tutorial on it somewhere if you guys want one for me go ahead and comment below telling me you guys want it i'll make a version for like the best settings that you can have on here so go ahead and comment if you guys want that but yeah if it didn't work there's a couple of reasons it might not have worked but here's one solution that you could try try clicking alt z and this should show up right here geforce experience and you can click game filter right here and then that will bring up the game filter however if that didn't work and you get a thing that says a game a supported game is required to use this future then what you are actually going to want to do so first things first if that isn't showing up at all you want to make sure they have G force experience downloaded so search for geforce experience and it should just automatically show up because it should be installed on your computer already and you're just going to want to go ahead and download it after that you can go ahead and try restarting your computer and once you have it installed you can go ahead and try re-downloading or restarting your computer and then try opening geforce experience to make sure that it's actually up and running and you should just be able to click alt f3 after that and open this and sometimes it'll start bugging even after you just used it and start saying a supported game is required to use this future so you're going to have to close out of roblox and then go ahead and reopen it again and try closing out of geforce experience too and open it again but it's really buggy so just keep that in mind as you go ahead and go through with all the steps but those are the two main problems right there you guys can also try going out of full screen and then going back to resume and then try opening full screen again and checking if that worked and it might sometimes work it might sometimes not you can just go ahead and test it out and see if it did or not and if those two options don't work you could try deleting roblox and re-downloading it and then you can also go to the geforce experience and make sure that your drivers are updated all the way so you can do that by going and searching for geforce experience go ahead and open it and once you're here there will be two options you can be on home or drivers go ahead and click on drivers and then go ahead and see if you have the geforce newest option if you don't then there should be a download button right here if you do then it'll just say you have the latest version so you can go ahead and download that and make sure that you have the newest drivers downloaded so that is how you can get shaders on roblox so i hope this video is helpful if it was i'd really appreciate it like and subscribe leave any questions you have in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer them and i'll see you guys next time